Don't just assume that the tall one is the top. Don't just assume that the tall one is the top. Just because she's kind of tall and I'm maybe kind of small, don't assume that the tall one is the top. Ha uh, ha. No. You wanna Jake, how are you so funny? T-R-A-U-M-A. I have trauma and I'm gay. Okay, I know I'm bisexual, and I am definitely, like, attracted to men, sadly. But holy shit, women are fucking perfection! Hey, Dweep, where are you going, nerd? The nerd store? <laughs> am I right? Did your mommy pick out those clothes for you? I'm surprised she's had time since she's been over at my place so much lately. <laughs> oh, look, he's gonna cry. Wait, what was that? Oh, you go by she now? Oh. Guys, look! She's gonna cry! <laughs> Just cause you're a girl now, doesn't make you less of a nerd. I'll see you in gym class later when I kick your ass at dodgeball, loser. I remember this one time growing up in the Mormon church and they made me talk to someone about my struggle with same-sex attraction and it was a church leader, it was this like middle-aged woman, um, she had been a leader in like young women's or something so I already knew her, um, but she sat me down and she was like giving me the lowdown on everything and telling me that she understood my struggle and I was like, do you though? And she was like, yeah, absolutely, it's super normal to struggle with these feelings towards other women, these sinful urges, I know I certainly did for a very long time. And like she continued on to say like whenever my husband and I get intimate most of the time I don't want to but I know that it's my duty as a daughter of God to procreate and bring children onto this earth does that make sense like ma'am I don't mean to alarm you here but um two things a that's assault and b I think you might be a lesbian Sometimes I ask myself, am I really bi or am I just faking it? And then a super pretty girl DMs me and the next thing you know, my hands become super clammy. I start to sweat a little bit and all I can think about is <clears throat> her spitting in my fucking mouth, dude. I don't fucking know. Holy shit. Equal parts terrified and turned on. And then I go to her profile and I see she has a boyfriend and then I'm extremely disappointed as if I had a chance with her in the first place. And then my brain is like, Dude, you're fucking gay. You're hella fucking gay. You're gay and disappointed. Gay, disappointed, and extremely horny. When I told them I was a bisexual, they told me that I'd never go to heaven. <laughs> I just want a girlfriend. What do I have to do? Tell me what I have to do to get a girlfriend. I'll kill a man. I'll climb a mountain. I'll swim across the English Channel. Um... Talking to women, though, that's a step too far, but please. I was just thinking about when girls wear button-downs with just a little bit of cleavage show. <laughs> Y'all look so good. Thank you. You have to stop pretending that it's possible to be straight. It's not. Have you ever heard of a girl crush? doesn't exist. It's not a girl crush. It's just a crush. How about a bromance? That is the purest form of true love I have ever seen in my life. We're all out here being gay. Are you watching this right now? You're gay. Are you straight? No, you're not. You're gay. We're all gay. If you're offended by this, it probably means you're gay. Hmm. It's almost like being Republican is a choice and being gay isn't. Ain't that some food for thought? Don't ask a lesbian couple who's the man, who's the woman in the relationship. We all know it's homophobic. Ask which one um, watched the Barbie movies obsessively as a child and which one was really into Percy Jackson. Realistic ways to know if you're gay or not from a resident lesbian for all my confused babies out there. Straight girls don't get all nervous and clammed up and try not to move when their friend who is also a girl sits on their lap or holds their hand. Straight girls don't really get uncomfortable when walking into a Victoria's Secret because of all the models and lingerie everywhere. Straight girls don't tend to take anti gay quizzes on the internet. Straight girls don't get all clammed up when the woman who is trying to do your nails holds your hand a little bit. Straight girls don't only stare at the floor in the locker room because they're uncomfortable and don't want to make anyone else uncomfortable by looking around. Straight girls don't look at a lesbian couple on television or whatever and think, aww, I want that. And finally, straight girls probably aren't watching this video right now. Okay, I have a question for the gays and the gays only. Okay. Since
since when did being a bottom become such a fucking insult? Like, I'm goddamn sorry that if you held a rusty knife to my throat and said you were gonna slit it, my reaction would be choke me, daddy, because fuck! What else do you want me to do? Savannah came out to me as bi. It's just a phase. What do you mean? She just likes girls because her boyfriend thinks it's hot. I don't think that's true. Yeah, it is. And Kyle came out as bi, but he's really gay. He's just too afraid to admit it. Why do you think that? Because no one's actually bi. You either like guys or you like girls. You're a fucking idiot. Bisexuality isn't just a phase. A lot of people are bi. How would you feel if I said you being straight was just a phase? But how could Savannah be bisexual? She's dating a guy. That doesn't mean she isn't attracted to women as well. Ooh, maybe that means she likes threesomes. Shut up and listen to me. Think about it like this. There's these towns that are all connected by trains that run from straight to gay. Some people are born in straight towns. Some people decide to ride that train all the way to gay city. But some people want something between. They decide to live in bisexualville. They aren't living there part time. They aren't temporarily visiting. Maybe some people are, but for a lot of them, that's where they choose to live and you need to respect that and realize that. And that's all what? That's all what? Period. That's all period. Um, could you cut them shorter, please? Of course, of course. Could we, could we just do a little bit shorter than that? But they're so nice, they're beautiful, they're so strong and long. Trust me, I know, but I'm, I'm gay, so I don't know what else to tell you. I'm so sorry, I just assumed that- Well, see, that's what happens when you assume you make an ass out of you and your bottom. You do got me there, bitch. <laughs> I knew it. I have to pretend. You're not fooling anyone. <laughs> okay, everybody, raise your hand if you're a lesbian. Hurry, go oh baby. my gosh. Go baby. I knew it. Go baby. While I'm eating this delicious strawberry bun, let's talk about the fact that so many homophobes follow me and we're shocked to find that I am gay and I'm going to speak on gay rights. I. My name is Faith Gay. How did you get here in the first place is my first question uh my second question it's not a question honestly you just don't deserve to be seeing my my wonderful content my cute face every day um like accept people or leave like i'm gonna be talking about basic human rights either you think yes human have right or no anybody who's not me belong in garbage because uh then you should uh, hop in the garbage too. Answer me this, Christians. Why lesbianism bad if booby so nice? Booby so nice? Yes. Booby too nice. Some things you should know from an older bisexual to a younger queer person. If you like multiple genders, it's going to feel different because it is a different type of attraction, it is a different type of romance. For instance, I, when I like a girl, it's like A. When I like a guy, it's like mm. And when I like an envy, it's like ah. It just feels different and can be very confusing because it's like, oh, I feel this way about guys, but I feel this way about girls and they're different. So I must only really like one when the truth is you can like multiple. It just tends to feel different and that's totally normal. Number two, it will come in waves with what gender you prefer and what gender you are in the mood for. Kind of like food. <laughs> Um, where it's like, oh, I'll have a span of time where I'm really into girls and I really want a girlfriend and I'm romanticizing about a girl. And it's like, what if I'm a lesbian because I only really like girls? But then the next week I'm like, but guys, I am really interested in having a boyfriend right now. And you just kind of have these moods of like, oh, hey, I'm into girls or oh, hey, I'm into guys. Most of the time I rely on the girl side, but sometimes on the guy side. And I'm still bisexual either way. I had a dream Jesus was bi and we all kind of like just ignored it. I told my friend about this and she's like, that's why it's called the Bible. Bi. Bull. Okay, I must be like super fucking lonely because I just got like butterflies <laughs> uh, making eye contact with this like five foot two cute girl with like brown hair and butterfly clips in her hair and she had like this short skirt and like a big ass jacket and <laughs> I pulled up in line behind her to get gas and she like looks at me in the face and she waves at me and I was like hi sorry and she like kept checking in and she was like one minute one minute and she's like was smiling at me <laughs> and I was like She's queer. She's gotta be. 
she's gotta be um and I did absolutely fucking nothing I'm like I could have rolled down my window I could have been like hey uh it's all good and then we could have like talked for like three seconds but no it's that'd be awesome what is what are you talking about? That would be amazing. What would be amazing? If you were gay. Are you gay? That's why you don't like wearing dresses and stuff? Yes! No kids! No kids forever! Yes! I'm gonna pray fast forward on the gas! Yeah, guys, all right. Crap, bro. Like, so what I know. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'm probably meant to be gay. Hell yeah. Probably. Mm -hmm. Dude, I would definitely smash. If yeah. I was gay? Hell yeah. If you were gay, I would have. We would have been yeah. up by now. I mean, I'm not gonna lie though. I kind of had a crush on you for a minute now. You have a crush on me. Yes. You for real? Are you for real? You for What's real? Up? Wait, are y'all for <laughs> real? Hello, lovelies. I just wanted to let you know that you can now buy some new things in my shop. There are many designs about the LGBTQ plus community or about TikTok, so I hope you'll enjoy that. Thank you so much for checking it out. The link is in the description.